Press your friends at school. Hit the button. <laughs>
cutouts. I am so excited about this. The one thing that always kind of bugged me about Drag Week last year was there was some wicked sounding cars out there and yours felt like it was just super quiet yeah. running through the mufflers and now, yeah, show them the motor. Yeah. Well, I guess. Goes together on this. Yep. With a remote control button inside and it already comes with its own downturns. And it's all stainless. Yeah. Super excited about that. Is that the remote? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it even comes with an actual remote remote. I didn't, yeah, I didn't realize it was. I didn't know that. So there's a button and there's just a key remote that you just hold. So you can be standing outside your car. Yeah. That's cool. Get it out. I didn't even know that. Look at that. It's like a keychain. Yeah. Neat. Press your friends at school. Hit the button. Yeah, I think we can automatically this work. <laughs> In case they didn't know, I, you know, probably sounds a little better than that though. All right, so we got an exhaust cutout system, which is something we've always, always wanted. I can't, I cannot wait. All right, put this back in the box, slide it over. Uh, yeah, don't lose anything. All right, what's next? Well, it's a second muffler box. So. Yeah. Yeah, we have two. It's a dual exhaust. Yep. One, I think. All right. No, I, don't I don't know. Yeah, a long narrow box. Oh, actually, I think I I might know what this is. Be careful with the knife. Yeah, go sideways. Another sweatshirt, another gray holly t-shirt. Awesome. Throttle body bracket. Oh, okay. Yep. So the brackets that hold on the uh, we're drive by cable on RLS. So there's the bracket for okay. that. Put it back in the box. Another V band. Oh, wow. So some of the stuff came in different boxes. So this is one of the V bands. An extra V band for the exhaust. Oh, second one. A second V band box. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, oh, Holly LS Fast Stickers. What do you think that means? Okay, well, okay, Mr. Obvious. Uh, yes, you guys have figured it out that are watching this. We will be at Holly LS Fest this year this at uh, the Bowling out. Green uh, location. So, hopefully, this video will be out before that. It will be, it will be. It won't be six months late. Oh, check it out a red, white, blue, too. There's a white one and a red one. Blue. Very cool. So we'll see you guys at LS Fest. Another announcement that we didn't realize we were going to make today. No idea what's in the big box. Oh, box is, is this box. it? Uh, nice turn upside down. is we got a Holley Terminator X Max system for miles. We have uh, one of this for so stinking long I can't even tell you. We got an awesome book. Look how thick that thing is too. It tells you exactly how everything goes in there. Colored pictures, labels and every wire. You open that box too? Is that the is that maybe Okay, here's the monitor right here, the remote monitor. Yeah. Oh, so cool, dude. We got a ton of plates. Yeah. Yeah, there we go.
go. Got to find a place on your dash to mount that now. Problem to have, right? Yeah. There's the ECU. Yeah. It's a lot smaller than the top. Well, smaller than your current ECU yeah. that's in there, so we'll have more room under your dash now. Yeah, exactly. We struggled to get that that uh, that stock 411 ECU that's in there now. Yeah. Oh, so excited. All right. Terminator X backs. Another big box, we have no idea what's in it. Coil pack set up. Oh, that's yeah. going to look cool. That's really cool. Coil unplug it. GM blaster coil unplug kit um, for LS1, LS6, 98 to 06 engines and your engine is 98. So, sweet. Oh, major upgrades coming. So nice. sweet. Oh, stickers. Forget the coal packs. That's no, nice. I'm just kidding. That's really nice. That's beautiful. Look at that. I'm going to hold it up here to the camera. Oh, isn't that a thing of beauty? Mmm. Yeah, we definitely got to do something about those oil, those ugly uh, covers of yours. Yeah. By the way, anybody out there? know of any aftermarket company I could I, I apologize if Holly makes them because I couldn't find them on their site but we have the the early style LS from 97 to 98 that has the valve cover bolts all around the outside instead of down the center where it changed up so we have the first series Gen 3 small block uh, LS and I just can't find aftermarket companies make valve covers to replace those ugly ones we got on there so uh, if not we'll paint them to make them look nicer but just asking. Feels okay. So. Really? Yeah. Okay. Big box. We have no idea what's in it. Wow, my knife sucks. It looks cool, but I need to sharpen it. for a four speed, which means, yes, eventually we are gonna upgrade to a, a built 4060E. Not a stock one, don't worry guys, we know how weak they are. But um, yeah, we've always wanted the ratchet shifter. And I actually had an old mega shifter. Uh, this is the Quicksilver, by the way, because it works best with our console. Uh, we didn't want a boot on there because the boots, I used to have a mega shifter in my stock Monza console. 30 years ago, and um, it was just always tough getting it at the right angle where the boot would stay on. We just decided to go bootless, and the Quicksilver was the best solution for that. However, actually, I think I remember this one is also a special version of it. Uh oh, what'd you drop? Rubber isolated. Oh, well, which we haven't talked about that yet. What? We haven't opened that box yet. Oh, yeah. All right, so I want to see this because it's supposed to be, yep. I don't know, it's gonna be kind of hard for you guys to see. 
but our car is primarily black and red and rather than go with a lot of bling we toned a lot of stuff down so like the roof crown molding on the car we um, painted it with a translucent black and a clear because that a little bit tartar band was going to be too much and we did the same thing for the inside here we went with the black chrome for the interior i forgot too <laughs> surprise yeah so yeah so it's not going to be this gaudy shiny bright chrome shifter in the middle it's going to be this subdued black chrome which i think looks prettier i love black chrome in fact i almost went with black chrome wheels but anyway yeah black chrome coke silver i considered it for my car oh sorry i was dreaming one day uh, this is the cable. Okay, so there's the new. Yeah, probably won't use that. Uh, we'll mount we'll mount this directly to the console. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. Black chrome, quicksilver shifter. Another upgrade for miles. I'm gonna pull that thing out now. You guys don't understand how badly he's wanted a ratchet shifter forever. We actually could have installed my old Van in ratchet shifter because we still have the Turbo 350 three speed in there. And that's yeah. what I used to run. Uh -huh. But I said, don't worry about it because we're gonna upgrade soon. And we yeah, just soon haven't upgraded yet. Yeah, soon turned into a year later, two years later. Oh yeah, black chrome knob or handle. You want to find the <laughs> All right, well, if you're going to do that, we got to go ahead and put the, put the whole thing together here. Oh, yeah. And you get there's a sticker that goes on the top that says Quicksilver. Or uh, you can put the Spider logo up there. Good. I happen to have a couple extra of those. Good. Yeah, good. That would be cool. That would be cool. Oh, look at that. Very cool. Yeah, congratulations, dude. You won't be able to shift it here. It's, yeah, I know. Yeah, it's got to gotta be bolted down for it to really work. Imagine banging through those gears of Drag Week this year. Uh, that's the indicator. That's all it is. It goes on the side here. Oh, so it's backwards. Yeah, it's backwards. Gotcha. Yeah. I need to pause it. Okay. Um, I don't know how you get all back in there now, but, but don't scratch up the chrome, whatever you do. All right, okay, last, last box. All right, we'll clear off some space. We took the staples out already, but we had to pull this out. figured out by now. This is Holly's stainless, uh, stainless u build kit. Okay. Okay. And uh, pretty excited about this. Um, obviously they don't make exhaust systems for Monza's. They don't make anything for Monza's out there. So everything yeah. we got to do for this is custom made. So this is an entire kit with all the bins, the, the turnarounds, the flanges, you name it. Yep. Um, for uh, a custom exhaust that you'll eventually weld up onto the car again this summer. Yeah. So, yep, this is from Flowmaster. Yep. So that will go with the Hooker Maximum Flow mufflers that we had over there. Uh, I don't even want to take this whole thing out. It's yeah. packed in there so tightly. Yeah, it's locked. All right. It's kind of heavy too. All right, let's put this thing over here. Oh, and then uh, these other boxes over here were just rubber isolators, hangers, and things like that to uh, to put this exhaust together. There. Okay, guys, that's it. That's quite a lot, actually. 
The only thing that we know we still have on the way is the bottom plenum to this intake right here. Uh, oh, actually, no, I know what else is still on the way. Huh. Has to do with the intake. Oh, it's not here. There is a brand new billet 95 millimeter Holly EFI throttle body coming forward as well. That will go on the front here that we will adapt. And that's going to be sweet. I mean, your stock one's only like 75, I believe. Yeah. Stock LS1. Mm -hmm. So we're going from 75 to 95. Obviously, we'll have a different tune in the car too uh, mm -hmm. once we put all this in here. We do eventually plan on, we already have a cam picked out for the car. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not a Holly one, but, um, but it's a pretty good one. Actually, Technically, it's called the best cam for those of you that are aware of who makes that cam. Mm -hmm. uh, we just got to find the right uh, rocker arms uh, and springs to, to match with it right now because it will not work with the stock LS1 yes. springs. Um, it's a pretty lumpy cam and, and um, we're yeah. pretty excited about it, but we got to get the right drive train to go with it. So, between the intake system and the new fuel rails that are coming with the bottom plenum, mm -hmm. um, the new uh, throttle body, the cam, um, I know what else is coming. Well, there's stainless headers coming as well. Oh yeah. Yeah. So there are a few things still on the way. So now you guys know everything. There's headers still on the way uh, to go with the exhaust. There's a throttle body still on its way. The bottom half of the plenum is still on its way. Obviously, there's a lot going on. Um, the goal is to get all of this done by oh. Drag Week in September later this year because that's yeah. the ultimate setup that we want for the car. Uh, so that we can get into the 12 this year, and we're gonna do it. Is that our goal? Just make that goal I just up? made that up, okay. actually. Okay. We had the, we had it's a worthy goal. Okay. Um, all right, well, thanks for watching, guys. We sure appreciate it. Um, obviously, some exciting things to come, and soon we'll make an announcement about the next build, uh -huh. and you'll see a lot more Hall of Goodness coming in for that car as well. We just haven't put that list together yet because we're still trying to figure out what all we're gonna need for it because this one's a pretty complicated build. I'm not gonna give away too much, um, but you'll see that announcement soon. Thank you to Holly uh, for believing in us. Thank you for believing in, in what he can do um, and what you plan on doing. Mm -hmm. And yep. thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time. Oh no, it wasn't recording that entire time. What do you mean you wasn't recording that entire time? <laughs>